the 26-year-old left-hander Wong Sin. She's won the last three Super Series events in Denmark, France, and last week in Hong Kong. Can she make it four in a row? Well, she's up against the new world number one because Wang Yihan regained her number one spot in the world on the world ranking that was published earlier this week. She is, of course, the reigning world champion, Wang Yihan, having won the title in Wembley earlier this year, beating Chen Xiaoxie of Taipei in that final. No, one or two upsets this week in the women's singles. Number one seed, Wang Shoshian, losing out in the second round to the world junior champion, Arachanuk of Thailand. As I was saying, Petia Nedelchava. Superb win for her in the, her opening match, disposing of the three time defending champion, Jiang Yang Xiao. But for these two players, both of them outstanding this year, both of them having won five titles. Wong Sin on a great run, appearing in her fourth consecutive final of four tournaments played. Simon O oh of Hong Kong is our umpire. And he really came on to the World Tour in 2009, left-handed Wong Sin. Whereas Wong Yihan has been a regular for a number of years now. This, in fact, her seventh appearance here at the China Open, even though she's only 23 years of age. But I guess the crowd is going to be behind Wang Yihan because she is from Shanghai. Tall, elegant athlete is Wang Yihan. 178, that's about 5 foot 10. World ranking up one place from last week to number one in the world. Regained that status that she held for almost a year between October 2009 and September 2010. Well, she's had two very tough matches in the last two rounds. First of all, against Nedelchova. Three games there, and then yesterday evening against Lu Sin. So to the world number three. And number three seed. She too had a very tough match yesterday evening. Needed three games to beat her teammate, Li Shore. But hasn't played against a seeded player. Neither of them have. And Ian, that's quite extraordinary. Yes, certainly at the beginning of the week, the conditions were very slow. And in those slow conditions, you would expect to get uh, to get one or two upsets. And that's certainly been the case this week. Well, we saw the head-to-head -head record. And this is the eighth meeting between these two players. Fifth meeting this year. 5-2 on the previous seven, the advantage to Wang Yi Han. But it was the left-hander Wang Sin who's won on the last two occasions, the semi-final last week in Hong Kong, and also the final of the Denmark Open. Only once has it been the full distance. I have to go back two years for that, for the semi-final of the Hong Kong Open in 2009. And that, to me, is surprising. So the women's singles final. 
one in far side of the court was beaten finalist here two years ago. Losing out to Jiang Yanxiao. This lady making her first appearance here on finals day of the China Open. Twice a semi finalist previously. And there's interesting statistics here as far as rankings are concerned because Wang Yi Han up one place in the world rankings but down one place to number two on the Super Series rankings. And that is because Wang Xin has gone up two places on the Super Series rankings to number one. So these two players will contest the Super Series finals to be staged in Lujo from the 14th to the 18th of December. And that means that until last week, the number one player in the world, Wan Xiaoxian, doesn't qualify for the Super Series finals. Yeah, it's been a tight battle between the three of them all year, really. Between the three of them, they've fairly dominated the Super Series this year. And as you say, it's a strange thing that the player that's been world number one for much of that period won't actually be qualifying for the finals now. Yeah, we ought to just explain that only two per country are permitted at the Super Series Finals. Top eight in each discipline, providing there's not more than two per nation. Already seen one or two classic Wang Sin rallies. Russ is changing the direction the whole time, trying to keep Wang Yihan off balance. Constructed rally, forcing Wang Yihan three times into that deep round the head corner and then switching the direction using the diagonal. See how she keeps her opponent off balance. And then good precision to win the point. We saw that quite a lot in the final in Denmark, uh, Jill, where Wang Sin tried to build a lot from that deep backhand corner of Wang Yihan. There she goes again. Oh, nicely yeah. done. Because when she goes to that other corner, Wang Yihan's very, very accurate from the deep forehand corner. Playing really well in that rally, both having opportunities. In the yeah. end, that's a good angle from Wang Yihan. Forcing her opponent to take it so late that it gives her time to get into that net position to play the winning shot. And both these players had such grueling matches late yesterday evening. Wang Sin, well, she had to overcome Li Shure, lost the opening game 55 minutes before she came through 23 21 in the decider. Whereas this lady, Wang Yi Han, needed an hour and 13 minutes for her victory over Liu Sin dropped the second game so both of them very very physical matches last night yeah it'll be interesting to see how they react to in this game whether there is any tiredness after those matches yeah, 
not only physical tiredness, but I wonder about emotionally drained as well, perhaps. You know, especially this lady, Wang Sin. So close. In fact, her opponent was one point away from winning the match. And she'd be disappointed there. She read the cross drop from Wang Yi Han. She knows that's Wang Yi Han's favourite from that corner. Read it well and then missed the block. just wide uh, that was close and again it's that tactic of pushing deep to the backhand corner and then switching the attack there we go making her opponent late in that corner then trying to use the diagonal uh, clever saw that one sim was backing off from the net Swayed her body one way. This is the one coming up. And then hits it the other. Block back to the net. Very clever indeed. Yeah, it's too flat from Wang Yihan and she knows it. She likes to use that cross lift from the forehand, but that was just too flat. Gave her opponent the chance to intercept the shuttle early. Uh, nice play. Again, just holding Wang Yihan. Flicking to the rear court. There it is, little hold. Forcing her opponent off balance. Creates the opportunity. Point advantage at the big game interval. Surprisingly quick. Just seven minutes. Well, that could be explained by your previous point, Jill. The fact I think certainly Wang Sin showing one or two signs of being a little bit weary. A couple of times when she's lunged at the net, she's been a little bit off balance. And I think both players have been quite aggressive in their shot selection not wanting to play the longer rallies which you would normally certainly expect from Wang Sin She's being more aggressive than we would normally expect to see yeah, she's got quite heavy strapping on her right knee but I, I wonder picking up on your point Ian whether the accumulation of tightness I mean her fourth consecutive final in four tournaments played Fantastic. Yeah, it's a good point, Jill. She's been on a very good run, in exceptional form. But uh, it will catch up with her at some stage. And she has been exceptionally good this year in finals because reached five finals, won five finals. Wang Yihan reached seven finals, but only winning five, <laughs> only winning five. That's another example, Wang Sin there, not, no patience, went for the cross drive when she was late rather than clearing out and starting the rally again. And then couldn't cover the diagonal herself. Real signs that she's a little bit tired here. Again, pressure into that deep backhand corner. And that creates the space in the front court. That's a more patient rally from Wang Sin. It's more the type of rally expected to see.
good reactions. Yehan looking to catch Wang Sin off guard and pushing at the body, but Wang Sin showing very good racket skills there. Quickly into position. so well making a move the full diagonal of the court time and time again yeah, again made a late in the rear court and that creates the space oh, error on the return of serve Five straight points. Uh, but the run comes to an end. But she's got herself back into this opening game. Now it's believable. And she was seven points adrift. Felt there was a real danger of Wang Yi Han just running away with the opening game. Well, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah, just anticipated that return, didn't she? She knows Wang Sin's been looking to try and exploit that deep corner. This time she got up early. Managed to intercept the shuttle early, bring it down very steeply. Following forward. Well, she touched it, surely. Well, that's a strange one. Difficult to tell from there, but the linesman certainly felt she'd touched it because he didn't want to call, did he? There's the difference when you go to that forehand corner, she's so dangerous. Oh, here we go. Problem with the knee. And the umpire is calling for the tournament referee, who in turn will call for the doctor. And I suspect that Wang Sin has had enough. Here comes the tournament referee, Isabel Joba from France. team are being called you think she's had enough in yeah I think she's gone out there and she's given it a real go but that is heavy strapping and it was a very very hard match last night not as long as her opponent was on court she was on court for only 55 minutes but it was a much much closer match much closer in the third game. Well, there's not a lot the doctor can do. They're not allowed to treat on court. They can only give an opinion on the extent of the injury. Uh, I think you're right, Jill. I think we're seeing the end of it here. Yeah. I mean, in all fairness, to beat the world number one, so she's only the number two seed here. Wang Yi Han. To beat her, you really do have to be on top form. You have to be 100%, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. No 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, calling it a day. And the home town player, Wang Bihan, from this city of Shanghai, takes her first ever China Open title at a seventh attempt. Seventh appearance here. And this year, she's the champion. Her sixth title of the year. Her third premier title of the year because of course she won the Korean Open and the Indonesian Open as well. Well that's very sad indeed that we're not seeing this match through to its natural conclusion because with the top two players on the Super Series list it's a match that I had been looking forward to but after just 30 points at 18-12 Wang Sin retiring from the final Well Ian, I'm sure it will take the presentation party a little while to get ready for this uh, presentation for the women's singles. Let's just uh, reflect a little bit on the singles in general, the women's singles. And I've already mentioned the fact that Wang Shoshian lost out to the world junior champion as we enjoy some of the highlights from that. Uh, well, in fact, that's the point where Wang Sin said she'd had enough. But um, also Sina Nawal, number four seed, she went in the very first round. It was 